Uh, is, is January 6th the hoax? The so-called right-wing violence is. Right-wing violence? How, how, is it, how is it a hoax? Most of it is lies. Uh, one, ma one man died of medical conditions days later. They came out with a story that he had been bashed over the head with a fire extinguisher. Coroner said no. Family said no. There wasn't a blunt injury on him. Right. Would you say overall it's a hoax? Well, the big thing is, well, my big thing is, is the injustice of this. Is here you have people who have been sitting in jail for nine months for what, for most cases, would be misdemeanor trespass. Without bail, without any recourse, nothing. Held in solitary confinement, which is inhumane, which is mental torture, and which is actually in the torture handbook. So these people are being tortured for nine months for basically misdemeanor trespass where you have people who are burning, looting, blinding police with lasers, and, and you have the, the current vice president who create, set up bail funds for them, they made sure that their charges were all dropped, where you have this handful of people who, again, 90, you know, there was probably a couple dozen people who broke windows, pushed their way through doors, and other than those couple dozen people, everybody else just wandered under unopposed into the building. I believe the government, I believe the government perpetrated the attack on the uh, Capitol. Certainly the MAGA people showed up here and walked up there. The people wanted to support Trump because they know he won the election. They know the election was fraud. And uh, I think that the people, that the majority of people breaking our beautiful Capitol and busting things, I think they were government act, uh, they were government people. They were somehow affiliated with Nancy Pelosi and her wicked cabal. So is that something you kind of you just believe, or did you read that somewhere? I believe it. I believe it. I saw. I, I saw the people throwing stuff. They were all big old boys. They did. They didn't look like. They're big healthy guys like you, man. People feel like there was like a, an element of deep state presence within the January 6th protest. Is that something that you feel? I feel there were a few plants. Yes. Yeah. I do feel like uh, Bill Barr was a plant. I feel like uh, uh, Mitch McConnell is a plant for the Democrats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? A lot of people feel like there's uh, there was an element of like a deep state presence in January 6th. Is that something you personally believe, or are you just yeah, hear more? No, I absolutely do. I mean, Nancy, you know, let's face it, Nancy Pelosi is in charge of the Capitol Police. It was her responsibility on that day to ensure that there was proper and adequate protection. And they had plenty of, pl excuse me, plenty of time to, to know that that day was coming. Um, and they were not prepared. And that's on them. I'm still proud of the people who stand up for what they believe in. And I'm okay with the people who don't believe what I believe. But if, I, if I'm gonna teach my children to be the kind of person that I want them to be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the things that matter to me. And I want them to matter to them too.